Hey there! Welcome to the 18th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. In the last tutorial, we covered the onClick event handler. We're going to use what we learned and build on it. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can read and write form element values in a very basic way. In the past, we used both hard-coded methods, the JavaScript console, and prompts to get user input. Uh, but in the real world, the most common ways to get input is through form elements like I have set up here. And of course, button clicks. So what we have here is very similar to what we did in the last tutorial where, where we have a few buttons set up. Uh, but instead of two buttons asking me, uh, prompting me to enter my name and my city, I have two inputs, uh, HTML inputs, uh, labeled ID and name with just a little label and a couple of line breaks. It's really ugly. Don't pay attention to that. It's not an HTML course uh, with type text. So what we're going to do first is we're going to read the values that I input here. Let's say I put in Nasmus and Boston. When I click on submit, uh, the red underline here, your name is, will be replaced with Nasmus and the city in which you live will be replaced by Boston. Once I click on capitalize everything, it'll actually capitalize not the text here, but the text within my form field here. And when I click on clear, everything in my form field will be cleared. So let's get started. So I'm just going to delete this. And let's start by grabbing our first submit button and storing it into a variable. So we'll do uh, bar submit, I'll call it submit. We'll do document.get element by ID uh, submit. That's all. So we don't have to do document like element by id submit dot on click blah blah blah. We can do submit dot on click equals to function. Open and close parentheses. Open and close curly braces. Uh, so we're saying when a user clicks on the submit button, we're going to do the following. We're going to grab the values from the form values first. We'll get a few variables called var name equals to document dot get element by id. Uh, the name of the ID is name, so name dot value. To get a value from a form element, it's just the property dot value. It is one of the built-in methods, uh, built-in properties of uh, HTML forms. We'll do var city, something var city, haha. Uh, document dot get element by ID city dot again value. So when the user clicks on submit, the JavaScript is going to go into both uh, the name and the city uh, inputs and grab their values and store them into these two variables. The next thing we want to do is after the user clicks on, on, on submit, we want to change the inner text or the inner HTML. Uh, for the purposes of this, it doesn't really matter because it's just plain text. Uh, the inner text to name and to city. So let's do that. So we'll do document.get element by ID output name because that's the name of my uh, span ID here output name dot value uh, sorry dot inner text equals to name so we're gonna input the name of the uh, the variable I'm just gonna copy this so control C control V I'm just gonna do output city and change this to city so there we go that's our entire on click so we are now using JavaScript to read values from a form element. So let me update and run. There you go. So we'll do Nasmus and Boston. Click on submit. There you go. It grabbed my name and the city and posted it to the HTML. That's one. We need to do two more. So the next part of this tutorial is going to cover how to input values into the uh, into form elements. We can always just do set the value but uh, we're going to do something a little more, a uh, little more fun. So we'll let me grab the button for this. I'm going to put it all the way up here. So we'll do capitalize, capitalize. I spelled it correctly. Yes, equals to document dot get element by ID is capitalize. I'm just going to store it here. I'm just going to store all my variables here, my global variables up there. So we'll do um, capitalize dot on click equals to function. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to grab the values again. So instead of typing it all over again, let me just copy and paste this here. Uh, again, referring back to my uh, variable scope tutorial, I can't, even though I declared var name and var city here in this uh, little function, I can't recall it again. I need to redo it again unless I do it somewhere 
globally, which I did not do, so I had to do it again. So uh, watch that tutorial to get a better understanding of what why I'm doing it this way. So now we'll do document dot get element by ID. I feel like I'm typing the same thing over and over again. It's because I kind of am. So dot value equals to name dot to upper case. So what I did here is I am so on line five we can use this piece of code to get the value uh, from a form element, but we can also use the same code uh, if we we can also assign it a value. So if you're doing you know that same piece of code dot value equals to something, you can actually assign it. You can actually assign a new value to it, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm copying and pasting city, so city to uppercase. Uh, to uppercase, I went over in my string methods tutorial. Feel free to check that one out. So let me update and run. Let's see how I did, Boston. So submit. There we go. And now remember, if I could click capitalize everything, I am uh, targeting the form element values, not the text here. So I'll do capitalize everything, and there you go. It capitalized everything in the form elements. Now if I click on submit again, since it's a new value, technically a new value, it'll actually replace the text here. So if I click capitalize everything again, nothing's going to happen because it's already capitalized. There you go. Easy? Good. So next thing we want to do is clear. If I click on clear, I want the form elements to be cleared. Right, not like that. But uh, clear. So when you're actually using HTML forms, you can actually uh, do a reset button uh, in actual HTML forms. But if you look, I did not set this uh, HTML up as an actual form. I'm just doing things as is, you know, willy-nilly, if you will. Uh, because sometimes you don't all you don't always need forms, so you can just do basic uh, input from here, you know, uh, from time to time. So let's just do that. So let me grab my button again. It's called the clear button. So we'll do var clear equals to document dot get element by id clear. Putting it all up here just to be clear that these are all my buttons. We'll do clear dot on click equals to function. Open and close curly braces, and then we'll do document dot get element by id name dot value. Again, we want to change the value of the uh, input field equals to. I'm just going to put two. Um, let me put two uh, double quotes so that it makes more sense. Does it look good? Yeah, there we go. So I'm pretty much assigning it nothing. It's 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 just null. So let me do the same thing with city. So I'm assigning nothing to the value of this input ID. Let me update run. There we go. Let me see if everything works in Asmus. Boston. Click submit. I use tab to get over here. Uh, capitalize everything. Works. And clear. There you go. Works. And if I click on submit, it goes back to being nothing because nothing exists. So NAS, do city, New York City, click submit. Still works, capitalize everything, submit again, clear, everything is working. So there we go. This is a very basic way of uh, getting you to understand how to read form elements values as well as how to write form element values. Uh, this will be very useful when you're using JavaScript. And this is something that I'll cover over and over again in future tutorials. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net. Thanks for watching and have a good one.